Hey there, I'm Andy, and this is Namaste at Home Yoga. Today we just have a short one for you. We're just going to run through a little bit of a lunge sequence, um, strengthening the legs, getting the hips um, really set up in space, really square. So find your mat, find a nice tall standing posture to start us off today, and settle into your mountain pose, opening the palms towards the front, getting tall and allowing the eyes to rest closed. Just evaluating where our balance is at, where our center lands. And feeling the breath as it moves through the body. Slow fill and empty of the lungs. Moving with that breath, let's let the eyes gently open. Find an inhale, sweep arms up high. Exhaling, find those cactus arms as elbows draw back and down, broad through the chest. Inhale, open up, lift the head, chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, elbows draw down. Let's find one more. Creating that space. Beautiful. Inhale as we open up. Exhale, palms float through center. Find your forward fold. Come on down. Inhaling to a half lift. Exhale, hands plant, step back, find a downward facing dog. And just take a moment to pedal it out here. Maybe weight shifting side to side. Whatever you need to do. Next exhale, we'll drop to the knees, untuck the toes and just allow yourself to move through some cat cows as we inhale that belly drops head chest and hips are lifting exhale press through hands knees rounding the spine inhale head chest hips exhaling round let's find three more today moving at your pace Gently waking the body up before we move into our lunge sequence. Finding your way through a neutral spine. Let's make our way back into our down dog, firing up the core bit on our way. Tuck the toes. Bring the core strong, belly button pulls in towards spine. Knees come to hover just an inch or two off your mat. Fingers are spread wide here to help protect the wrist. Pressing down, strong through the hands, strong through the toes. Next exhale sends you back, downward dog. Find an inhale, right leg comes high. Stepping between the hands, dropping the back knee and tuck the toes. We're gonna stack that front knee right over top of the ankle and press through finding your low lunge. Allowing the hips to sink, tailbone dropping towards the earth. Staying here, maybe bringing hands to your invisible back pocket. Starting to draw the elbows together, opening through the chest. Nice. Exhale to release, frame the foot, step back, down and up. Left leg inhales to lift. Stepping between hands. Find your low lunge here, dropping it down. Press through the foot to find your lift. Allowing the tailbone to get heavy. And then finding your arm variation here. 
elbows can pull together or shoulder blades just pull back and down to make that chest proud. Dig in, exhale to release, frame, come on back. Next one, a little bit more warmth, a little bit more heat to build. Let's inhale, right leg high. Stepping between the hands. Keeping the legs strong, we're gonna send the arms back for runner's lunge. Palms face the mat. We're gonna draw the crown of the head forward, finding a small lift to the chest. Get high on your back toes. Knife the shoulder blades together if they aren't already. Really get that fired up. Awesome work. Exhale to front, step back. Finding your second side, left leg inhales. Hand steps through. Ankle stacks underneath the knee, always for that front one. Getting strong through the legs, high on those back toes, arms, feet back as the crown reaches forward. Proud chest still here, shoulders pulling back and down. Fantastic. Exhale, frame your foot, come on back. Taking this a little higher, right leg comes high. Stepping between hands. Press through the foot, inhale to lift, hands find center, or maybe rest overhead. Depending on shoulder mobility, palms may stay as a Y, shoulder distance, or palms touch. Drawing the right hip back, the left hip forward, crescent lunge. Exhale, frame the foot, come on back. Inhale, left. Step it through. Press up, arms can lift. Really get tall here. Energy shoots up out of the fingertips or out the crown of the head, whatever your highest point is here. Back heel is lifted. Hips square, facing the front of your mat. And as we exhale, we'll frame, step back, down dog. You can drop to the knees for a moment, untuck toes, rest in a child's pose. We've got a few more lunge variations. Each one familiar with one that we've just gone over. So always feel free to come back to that first variation if you prefer. Come back to that breath if you've lost it. And let's continue to move here. Inhale through tabletop. Find your down dog. Left leg this time. Inhale, lift. Step through for low lunge between the hands. Back knee drops, toes untuck. Press to lift. Lift and creating a little bit more more space, more openness, challenging our balance as we send the arms overhead. Maybe gaze lifts with it. Option to stay or gently opening up, tiny back bend, keeping our breath smooth. Nice work, exhale to frame, come on back. Other side, right foot steps forward when you're ready. One more little lunge with that back knee dropped. Finding our way up. And then extending as we send the arms overhead if shoulders uh, are feeling all right with that. Optional lift of the gaze.
Beautiful. Smooth breath. One more. And next exhale frames the foot, brings you back. Down dog. Left leg inhales high. Stepping between the hands, runner's lunge. Getting really high on those back toes. Again, send the arms back. Shoulder blades back and down. I don't know if I gauged my space very well for this one, but <laughs> see how she goes. We're gonna start to shift forward, pull more weight onto that front leg. Maybe our toes get really light here. Maybe we press up to a balance for toppling tree. With an exhale, returning to our lunge, frame the foot, come on back. That was a heck of a jump, I'm aware. Right leg inhales to lift. Stepping between hands. I'm gonna stay further back on my mat this time. Get high on those back toes, sending your arms back, find your lift to your runner's lunge. And then maybe shifting forward more, lay on your back toes, or pressing through to the left, finding a balance. Hips always square, this time to your mat. And an exhale brings you back to your lunge. Frame it foot. Come on back. Left leg inhaling high. Stepping between the hands. Coming up for crescent lunge. Inhale to lift. Inviting a twist. This time right fingertips reach forward as left reaches back. This helps to square off the hips to the front of the mat even more. As the right hip draws forward, left hip draws back. So I always like to incorporate twists, so this is a great way to do it in this practice. Inhale through center, exhale, frame your foot, step back. Other side, right foot, coming high. Stepping between the hands. <clears throat> Press it up, crescent lunge. Squaring those hips as our left fingertips reach forward, our right arm reaches back this time. Strong, smooth breath. Crown of the head still reaching tall. Legs fired up. Inhale comes back through center. Exhaling, frame the foot, step back, down dog. Once more, dropping to the knees, untuck toes, find that child's pose. A moment of rest. Finding our breath. With your inhale, float through tabletop. Tuck the toes, send it back, down dog. Her right leg is gonna come high as we inhale. Exhale to shift forward, right knee towards the right wrist. Draping that leg across the top of your mat, setting up for pigeon. The more parallel your shin is at the top of your mat, the more intense this one will be, the greater the knee bend in your front leg less intense. I encourage you to find a bit of balance side to side in a tall spine first. And then if you'd like to move into a forward fold, please feel free. If you have cushions or blocks that you can bring to rest on here, you are more than welcome to. Maybe allowing the hands to stack in a way that allows your forehead to rest.
Soaking in three more breaths. And if you're in that forward fold, finding your way back up, let's tuck the back toes and find a down dog. Penis. Moving through a second side, left leg inhales to lift. The left knee finds the left wrist. Draping that leg across the top of the mat once more. Find an angle that feels okay for you. Get even in the hips, side to side. Settling into a tall spine first. Whether you're at a hover or resting on your mat. And then maybe welcoming a forward fold here as the chest draws forward and down. Forehead can rest if that's available. In any case, just encouraging those deep, smooth breaths. Last couple of those here. Let's find our way back to a down dog. Maybe inviting a pedal outside to side for the moment. A bit of a weight shift. And you can walk feet to hands or hands to feet to your choice. Forward fold. Inhale to roll up to stand. Next one sweeps those arms wide, open up through the chest. Exhale, hands float through center. Coming back to our mountain pose, palms facing forward. Spine tall. Feeling that warmth that we've built in the legs. Any other changes that may have come. Thank you so much for joining me for this short and sweet practice. A couple little challenges thrown in there. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again soon. Namaste.